Good morning. It's Saturday. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to get started. I've got the doggies with me. We're going to go and check the raised beds and have a look and see what's happened overnight. And then I've got half a dozen jobs to do. I thought maybe you could join me. Get a cup of tea and sit and watch for 10 minutes and see how it goes. So here we go. Oh, Mr Mole's been busy during the night again. Ah oh, well. My experiment Swedes in their bucket fortresses to protect them from the slugs. Doing very well. This is aged old. He's coming back really, really well and quickly. So that's good news. And ah, again... Hi! You can chat later. Thank you. There's new leaves on this little one. He got eaten something rotten. He's coming back as well and this was just a really quick will it work experiment just with cardboard and so far it seems to be going really well. And I, I don't know, do moles eat slugs? I hope so. That would be good. These are my courgette plants. Yeah. They've been amazing. They're, they were huge. I cut off a lot of the big leaves because I just felt it wasn't necessary for them to be quite so big. I'm immensely pleased with what I've what I've managed to take from there. You can see the flowers are getting smaller now, so it's definitely coming to the end of the season. I've got another couple left. I'll wrap them up in fleece and protect them from the slugs. And hopefully we will get another couple of vegetables out of them before the end of the season. This poor one is not doing so good at all. The slugs just chewed it completely and it's rotted from the, the base. So that is one of the jobs I want to do today. Dig up the old courgette, put them in the composter. I'm going to get rid of all the grass. I'm going to cover it in cardboard and put fresh manure on it. Not rotted manure, fresh manure. Because I'm not going to plant anything else in this bed over winter. And that will give it a chance to compost naturally. And it will be ready by the spring. The potatoes are doing real well. All the other potatoes got eaten away completely. This bed is completely empty. I was thinking about putting some rhubarb in it. I've got some seedlings in the greenhouse and I was maybe going to plant them in there today. My pumpkin is doing fine. He is literally hanging on by a thread because, yet again, I'll just show you. Well, I had that covered up properly. The slugs chewed the main stem right at the base. If he doesn't make it, he doesn't make it. We've tried our best. But he is going for it. So one of the jobs that I'd like to do today is rearrange this composting area. I've got two bins which I go back and forward with and I've also got a pile of horse manure there and I turn that every other day as well. But it's a mess and it's a pain to mow round about it and keep the grass strip. The sun's bright. So I'm going to drag some pallets down from the shed and make a pallet composter. Just a simple three-sided thing, nothing special. And we'll get all this tidied into the, the bay. Uh, we'll keep the composter for the food waste, but we'll use the, the pallet one for horse manure. And again, we'll just leave it over winter. And then hopefully, come springtime, we've got some top class compost for the beds. Ah, look at that sweet corn. Just amazing. It's easily eight foot tall now. We've got some silks. We've got castles, we've got an ear, gets bigger every day, it's grey all the way up here, looks great, more silks, it's beautiful. I've got the other Swedes, there's been some slug damage, that'll be fine. Next door is some beetroot and carrot. They are all ready to be harvested. I mounded up some soil on top of the carrots to try and keep them in the dark. So I'm just taking them out as and when I need them, which is every other day we have a beetroot with our tea. The trees are doing... Hello darling! <laughs> the trees are doing well, no problems there. The bottom's fine. The strawberry patch really needs a good clean out. This was, this was meant to be a composting pile for manure and it never really worked out it's just not good enough it needs the worms to come up through the ground there are plenty of worms in it there's millions of worms i'm not happy with it 
so I just put a couple of uh, pumpkin seeds on it and the seeds came from a pumpkin I bought last year to carve so I'm very very pleased I'm not sure if this is mildew or if it's just meant to be like that but that seems really really healthy he's loving it got one pumpkin here so once the pumpkin's finished I will dig the whole bed out and put it in the new pallet composter and we'll have gold <laughs> welcome to the greenhouse so I don't think I've actually done a tour of the greenhouse not that there's a great amount to tour around but I haven't really shown everybody what I'm actually doing so today is the day a wee tour around the greenhouse isn't it just delightful I have beautiful big pumpkin flower <laughs> it's lovely isn't it missed yes it is well we've got tomatoes they're enormous I mean here look how big these tomatoes are they are enormous Loads of tomatoes on them. Although I put the seeds in early, it didn't want to plant them properly in their in their grow bags until the greenhouse was ready. So I think they are a wee bit behind, but they're doing so well. And I just popped a couple in a bucket, and they are their bucket ones are doing great. Might just get compost instead of tomato bags. As long as they're getting fed and watered, I think they'll be absolutely fine. But this is another job I want to do today. I want to strip out all the foliage in between, let them concentrate on making tomatoes and not green stuff. <laughs> My sacrificial marigolds are doing exceptionally well. They're not getting sacrificed to anything so far, which is wonderful. We have got iceberg lettuces. They're doing really well. That's a chard at the back there. But the lettuces are very happy. I just keep them in a reservoir of water with some feed in it and they just drink what they want. When it gets empty, I just top it up again. This is a loose leaf lettuce. I think I need to pot them on because they are getting very big and very flopsy. So yeah, I need to, that's another job to do. I need to pot them on. In the buckets beneath, we've got some spinach. I'll just cut and come again. Some of it's bolted, doesn't matter, I just cut the flower heads off. Still, the leaves are still very edible and very delicious. I've got two courgettes here. This one I took a courgette off of two days ago. And it is currently in the fridge for dinner. We've got another one here, got hand pollinated the other day as well, so hopefully that comes to something. This one made a break for it. It's quite a small one and it started to self-root <laughs> in his neighbour's bucket. I've got some green beans in the bucket. They're doing good. Look, they're just so healthy looking, so green. I've maybe underestimated the climbing frame slightly, but they can go up the pole once they, if they feel the need. A big crate of potatoes. I need to put more compost in the in the bin for them. They're getting a bit flopsical. In this pot, I've got sweet potato. Never grown sweet potato before. I don't know what will happen. I don't even know if it will work. But it is a very, very pretty vine. It's lovely. I have another pumpkin over here. He likes it there. He seems happy enough. I have another potato, so they should be ready after New Year if they work out. Just one potato in a pot and see what happens. But it's doing fine. I've got some beetroot in a bucket and I've got some carrots in a bucket. <laughs> Again, Christmas dinner. <laughs> Onions and leeks. Now, I have no idea about when these should be planted, but I've planted them. Just shove the seed in the ground and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen, eh? I've got some bell peppers here, hopefully be able to keep them safe over winter. I've got tomato cuttings. They're up and down to be honest. One minute they look great, the next minute they look a bit flopsy. Maybe over watered actually. I will let them drip drain for a while. Let's see if that helps. 
Now, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is charred. I'm 95% positive that's charred. But it could also be beetroot. But I don't remember planting that many beetroot. That's what happens when you don't label things. It's so easy to forget. If you know if beetroot or charred, comment below. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. Uh, that's the rhubarb. So I'm hoping to put one of them in the field, but I'll need to get a slug defence bucket in place first. Because I don't want to lose them. I love rhubarb. It's delicious. I've got mini sweet peppers growing. And I took a bunch of green ones off yesterday in the hope that I could encourage these to turn red. This is brand new, fresh horse manure, unrotted, it only came out of the stables two days ago. It has just done no urine and they are bedded on a straw pellet based bed. So it's all 100% organic stuff. So we spread it out and that's us done. Pleased with that. It means I don't have to touch it now until next year. I also realised I've just enticed every slug in the district to come and feast and then when they get there they're going to go, oh, fresh crochet, thanks. So, <laughs> uh, extra slug traps probably and wrap up those crochets that are there just now. Thinking maybe I could fit the spare hoops to the bed that I'm going to put the rhubarb in. Maybe just pop a, a mesh over it for a wee while just to protect it. I don't know what from but... <laughs> <laughs> I won't protect it from the slugs, but I don't know, they just seem so vulnerable. You don't want to do that. You don't want to use a shovel. Completely inappropriate tool. Silly. That'll be fine. Jolly good. I'm going to build it the other side. Why would I build it right next to the beds? That's just an incredibly stupid idea. So we're going to move to the other side of the composter so I can just shovel this manure straight into it.
a try. <laughs> and he's keeping it. <laughs> me for about a month. <laughs> right, let's get these tomatoes done. Enjoy that. They look a bit stark now, a bit naked, but they'll be fine. I've got a feed tomorrow and I'll be absolutely fine. It's time for my lunch and I need to make some bread rolls for tomorrow's breakfast. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. So you'll be all right. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, let's go outside. Silly, so breathing so hard. enjoyed watching it thanks very much for joining me and thank you all to the extra subscribers who've joined I really really appreciate it it gives me so much more enthusiasm to make more videos whether it's you're here because of mist <laughs> not Logan give me a come on come here come here look at whether you're here because of gardening or because of mist doesn't matter I'm just over the moon that more people are subscribed please 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 click that like button and if possible we'll subscribe <laughs> Thanks for joining us again today, we've got some great jobs done and I'm really pleased to see how things develop over winter and what sort of manure we're getting next.